So hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is the first time you're clicking on Kate Vlogs, please consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content. So in today's video, um, as you can see, I have a visitor. I will let her introduce herself. So without wasting a lot of time, please let our guest today introduce herself. Thank you so much for having me. Hello and <laughs> welcome back to Kate's YouTube channel. I'm Frida or Daffy Travels from Mombasa. Yeah, she's Daffy Travels or uh, Frida and she also has a, a YouTube channel. So um, the way we met, I will just explain briefly how we met. So um, last year in December, I wanted to take my son for a trip to Mombasa and we had no idea where we would sleep. So um, I went online and looked for somewhere where we can get an Airbnb and that is how I met Frida. And um, from then, when we went to Mombasa, by the way, she was a very, very good host. And therefore, if you are planning maybe to go for a trip, yeah, she has Airbnbs, uh, she has bed sitters, she has one bedrooms, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, whatever kind of space that you need in Mombasa. And um, she's very, very friendly, customer relation is up there, and um, I really recommend. And even the next time when I'm, I will be going maybe to Mombasa, that is the same place I will be going to. Now, I call her today so that at least you can understand an Airbnb business, so that if you are interested in opening such a business, you can have an idea of how to start one. So, Frida, um, what is an Airbnb for someone that doesn't understand Airbnb? So, Airbnb are full furnished apartments. Fully furnished. Yes. Yeah. So, lazima kwenye kila kitu. Lazima kwenye kila kitu. But we we don't offer food. We offer tea bags and so that's why we call it bed and breakfast. Okay. Airbnb is like a bed and breakfast mm. apartment, full furnished apartment, just like your house. Mm. But we offer tea bags, sugar and water. You can make your own breakfast. If it comes to food, you buy your own food and cook. But we provide a gas, like a full furnished kitchen. You have everything. You just have to buy your food and cook. Okay. Yes. So, um, did you go to, to, to school maybe to study such things? No, actually I've done HR management oh. and now yeah, I am doing business about Airbnb because I love traveling. Mm -hmm. See, my, my YouTube channel is all about traveling, okay. Daffy Travel channel. So, yeah. I've been facing a lot of challenges when it comes to accommodation because you see, as we all understand, it's not easy to afford hotels, yeah. like this five star hotel. Mm. It's, and you see, if now maybe you are traveling in a budget, if you are traveling for to have an holiday and you have enough cash, well, for you, <laughs> congratulations. But mm. for us, sometimes most of us we travel on a budget. Yeah. So actually, with me, I've been traveling on a budget, mm -hmm. and I've been facing a lot of challenges when it comes to accommodation. And that's when I got now this idea of starting an Airbnb because I wanted to help those who are traveling on a low budget like me, and like I wanted also. To, <laughs> and I also wanted to like to make them to show people the beauty of Africa, and you mm. see also to promote a, a tourist economic mm. because you see if you come here. And I'm giving you a studio for two thousand, mm. and in hotel it's like ten thousand. Yeah, you you end up staying maybe two days in Mombasa. Mm. But if you are getting a place to stay for two thousand, you yeah. can even stay like five for days. A week, yeah. You see, mm. and you will have so many places to visit. In another way, you are also promoting our tourist economy. Okay. Yes. So how much does it take to like start a small bed sitter B and B? Like like. For a studio, mm -hmm. we with two hundred thousand, mm -hmm. you can set up a very nice studio. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to have two hundred to start. You can even start with one hundred and fifty. Okay. You can just get the basic ones: bed, get a two seater, just a single nice bed like this mm -hmm. one, a bed, a TV, a fridge. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. You just get the basic, and then when the business as you keep on going, you keep on adding and furnishing the house. Okay. Yes. So, um, and maybe if somebody wants to come to your place, do you have like a website or something? Yes, I have. Uh, I've listed my property on Airbnb app. Mm -hmm. I'm also in a booking.com, but booking.com is a bit challenging. Even on Facebook, mm -hmm. I normally post on actually like 80% of my clients, I get mm -hmm. them from Facebook. 
But yes, I have an I have a link on Airbnb. So if somebody is not living in Mombasa, mm-hmm. but wako these other places, mtu wako na Kuru, Eldoret, Kakamega, Kisumu, can they open Airbnbs? Yes. Actually, I'm also looking forward to have another unit in Nairobi. Mm. You can have mm. you can have unit everywhere mm. in Airbnb. It doesn't have to be Mombasa because people are traveling all over. So what do you check maybe when you're going to look for a location? When you're going to look for a location, first safety. Mm. Just look for a secure place, a place, uh, a nice place, mm. and maybe a population. To set an Airbnb, you don't want a place where it's, it has a lot of congested people. You just need a decent place mm. to make people feel like they're in holiday. You see, it's an Airbnb. So but you hand a apartment to the back place, apartment ikuwe. Kitu too smart, like kitu see mali kuna a busy place. Yeah. You see, it's an Airbnb. But you, these people, most of them, they are coming for holiday. Mm. So make them feel like they are in hotel and give them that ka feeling ka. It's an hotel. See, like you go and take something which looks like bloaty too. Like, <laughs> so at a field, at a field, you come at you. Mm. So you have to be to to yeah. So those are mm. things you should consider. Place. It's not that clouded mm. and place decent. Something similar to an hotel or apartment. Okay. Yes. So um maybe the fear is my god from them there you have to consider so many things because you see much of the people who been be they some of them they look from outside you can furnish your house very well inside but from outside it doesn't look it's just away there yes it's just yes. 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 i mean they are travelers yes sure where okay so uh what about maybe some things like um you have a client she has come the fridge has broken down or kidogo kidogo tv mengushwa na mtoto wao what happens in such a case you see if i'm giving you my house in good condition mm-hmm. you should also try and leave the house when now you're taking out make sure the house is also in good condition mm-hmm. so that you, you can give us an opportunity to accommodate also other people mm-hmm. so this is what happens there is those things like glass this small small thing mm-hmm. which you can understand it just adds them which even if it was me maybe cleaning i could have maybe broken a glass or something mm-hmm. but now big things like tv if you have a you have come on a vacation with a kid mm-hmm. at least we advise our clients to take care of their kids because if you broke a tv i'm sorry but that one of course you have to pay yes right. because here you have <laughs> see if here you have my tv maybe cost 30000 or maybe 25 mm. you have booked my place for three nights as to do that 6000 yeah. you have stayed two days and mm. you have broken my tv mm. you see that one you just have to pay right Yes. Now, uh, asking for somebody maybe that wants to travel maybe for honeymoon, baby moon, such things, birthdays, yeah. what extra things do you offer to those clients? Good. We normally do that because if you have a birthday, you book her place, mm-hmm. you have to tell us in advance. Mm-hmm. But if you have been my client for a while, and now here you have, you have a birthday, we do that um, some decor, some surprise deco for you mm. at no fee yeah. because you're being my client mm. but for first timers mm. you have to pay like 2500 mm. for to help for us to do some interior deco we'll provide maybe a wine yeah. some flowers animal such things like yeah. this. yes and i saw that uh, in one of her videos she had placed is it one in is in a lap for bed yes so yes. if you are a that one depends if it's now that one we do for animals okay the lab like to create that atmosphere of love Mm. Yes. So, um, and if somebody wants to maybe start this Airbnb business, mm-hmm. um, so they should set aside one fifty to say one fifty to two hundred. One fifty to two hundred. That's for a studio for one bedroom. Two hundred and fifty. Because the difference between a one bedroom and a studio, mm-hmm. it's only that the one bedroom at least the furnishings mm-hmm. the uh, you can add more. It's not like a studio. You know, a studio a two seater you're good to go. But in one bedroom you need a three seater or a two seater something like that. Now, if you go to her channel and see the videos of her Airbnb, you see that the beds are the high quality beds, the seats are high quality, the deco is out of this world. May I know why you do that? Why, why do you go for the high end products? Good. So with me, um, I'm in love with deco. I love good things. Mm. And you see now this one, it's now apartment. Yeah. I want it to be like a five star hotel. Because what we are doing, to, what I'm trying to do is provide accommodation mm-hmm. for those who are traveling on a low budget. Mm-hmm. But again, I also want them to feel comfortable and to have that hotel feeling. Also to feel like, yes, we are in a vacation. Mm-hmm. So I want to make it different from your house. Okay. A piece of that yeah. you can enjoy, you see. 
and beds. If you're traveling, I mean, maybe the whole day you've been tired. If you go to bed, you want to rest. Yeah. So if I just put a mattress there, just a bed, I just collect her wood and put yeah, there. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> you see, it's not a feeling. So I just want you, and then I want you to come. And uh, my motto of this business is, mm. I want to make a client, not a sale. Mm. You see, if we just put V2 of your obvio, mm. I'll make a sale that day. Mm. You are booked, you have come. You see, yeah, but, but you, not I, I'm not giving you an idea. I'm, mm. I'm not giving you a reason of you booking again yeah. with me. You see, yeah. so I just want to make a client, not a sale. You see, the reason I'm still talking to uh, Frida <laughs> is because I also want maybe one day to go back to the same same houses. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what about the profits of mm. having an Airbnb? Oh, Roughly. Yeah. That's on. <laughs> is it a lot? <laughs> we are trying to get a lot of profits. <laughs> not really, but mm. I, I won't be specific with the figure. Mm. I won't give you the exact figure, but now if you're talking of studio, let's work uh, 30 to 25. Yes, in a month. Yes, in a month. Yeah, that's cool. If it's a one bedroom, let's talk of forty to fifty. Forty to fifty thousand. Yeah. Yes, forty to fifty thousand in a month. And this one, uh, it depends with the season sometimes too. Well, but you see, that's now, a good amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> you can start one here in Nairobi. Wow. Because I see you live near the airport. Mm. So those are other things which will look when you're starting to set a Airbnb business. So what would you advise somebody uh, who has this capital, maybe 300,000, mm -hmm. they want to start a business, why would they start an Airbnb aside from starting a, maybe a different kind of business? For me, you see with Airbnb, mm -hmm. I'd say it's, uh, huh, Airbnb it's a very good business according to me, mm -hmm. if you like your freedom. Okay. Because you see now I'm in Nairobi, yeah. I've been in Nairobi for one week mm -hmm. and my business is still going on. It's there. Funny, you yeah. see, it's something you can work from home, mm -hmm. it's something you can work from any city. Yeah. You can set up an Airbnb in Mombasa and you're living in Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't have to tie you around. Mm -hmm. You see we have those business like if it's a cloth business, you have to stick around. From morning to evening in your shop. If you close your shop, no sense. You see. But Airbnb you have invested in it, wow. you can stay, just market from online, you can work out of it. Like, you don't need to stick there every time. Now, um, somebody is asking, uh, maybe they want to travel to Mombasa yeah. and they want to come and visit your Airbnbs. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, just in case of anything, just call me and tell me, Kate, you told us <laughs> to go to her place, you were not happy. Then I'm telling you, you are going to, to really love her place. It's Zico, very, very smart. They are near the public beaches. Tell our audience where the Airbnbs are located. Any those yeah. parts in Mombasa? So, called? like the one you stayed, mm -hmm. we are located in Bamburi Mchambo Mumbeni, next to Lake Zephyr Station. Yeah. It's, it's only fifteen. Bamburi, <laughs> Bamburi uh -huh. Mchambo uh -huh. Mumbeni, uh -huh. oh, next to Lake Zephyr yeah. Station. Mm -hmm. It's only fifteen minutes walk to the public beach, Pirates Beach, mm -hmm. and we also have some other units in Nyali, mm -hmm. Nyali Center. Mm -hmm. Yes. The best thing I think you should just give them my link mm. for Airbnb yeah. in case they want to book there mm. or leave your number there in case they want or my number because now uh, the challenge of booking on the app mm. you see if a studio is two thousand mm. on the app they have to pay two thousand three hundred okay. because of those fees yeah. yes so are you okay with giving maybe your contact or yes, something sure. yeah, you can go ahead. Yes. so if you want to book our Airbnb or you want to make a reservation you can. Make your reservation through this number zero seven two seven four eight one six nine seven or zero seven fourteen twenty one eighty seven Karibu Mombasa. So um we've been having Frida uh, today and um I hope that you have learned. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And also, please tell us your YouTube channel. You need so to guys, you. welcome to my YouTube channel as well. It's Daphne Travels. Mombasa or Daffy Travel Kenya. Yeah. So please go there, show some love, go and just watch her videos. They are very, very exciting. She travels a lot and also she does a lot of uh, is it for interior. I do, yeah, I do interior yeah. Yeah. vlogs mm -hmm. and I also do travel vlogs. So come and get some tips of where to go on holiday, where to take your babes for vacation. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed watching this content, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let us see each other on the next video. Bye. Ciao, ciao.